without knowing they fight with each other <laughs> So see, I can only say, <coughs> even, the language, yes. even the language, even the language. Yes, language. See, you speak Hindi, I speak Tamil. That's right. But uh, English is common for common both friends, of us. Yes. What do you say for water in your language? Pani. Pani. Yeah. I say thanni. Okay. So when I come to your place and ask, give me thanni, uh -huh. how will you understand? That's right. I should <laughs> ask in your language. Yeah. So Pani is the same water as thanni. Yeah, okay. See, now you say Brahma. Mm -hmm. He's not a Hindu god. Brahma? Brahma is not a Hindu god. Oh. Brahma means creator. Okay. In Sanskrit, All right. Brahma, Brahma means creator. creator. Okay. So when I say creator, whether I say creator in English uh -huh. or Brahma in Sanskrit, Sanskrit. both the same. same. Okay. Both the same. All right. So sometimes, uh, uh, what do you say for jasmine, the flower? Uh, jasmine. Jasmine flower. Is there any name? I don't know. <laughs> no, no, actually. But in Tamil we say Mallika. Mallika. Mallika is Jasmine. I see, okay. So if some woman is named as Mallika, mm -hmm. we call them Hindu. We okay. consider them Mallika will be a Hindu woman. Okay. If it, if some woman has the name of Jasmine. We say it's a Christian woman. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. So that is, the name, that is Tamil, yeah. this is English. This is English, okay. That makes the Jasmine. difference. Yeah, okay. See, when you say Jehovah, mm -hmm. he's not a Jewish God. I see. In Hebrew, Hebrew language, language yes. Jehovah means God. God, yes. When you say Allah, yes. you are not a, you are not worshiping a Muslim God. Uh -huh. In Muslim, in in Arabic, Allah means God. I see. Okay. So if I say Allah, I am not a Muslim. Okay. If I say Jehovah, I am not a Jew. Uh -huh. If I say Ishwara, I am not a Hindu. In, okay. If I say Jesus, okay. that is, I am not a Christian. Okay. I am mentioning the name of God uh -huh. in various languages. Very language, okay. People should understand that. So many scriptures in India are very parallel with the Old Testament. Okay. So when I started to read the Bible, I found so many interesting things, mm -hmm. and five, which made me to consider that Jesus is the revelation of God, the Prajapati. Whoever came to this world offered him as a sacrifice. Okay. And uh, the prophecy, what are told about in the Bible about Jesus Christ, have been fulfilled. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of the things are being fulfilled even today. Okay. And the rest of the things will be fulfilled in later days. Amen. Yes. So I consider this is the authentic word of God. I see. And the one who comes in this Bible is Jesus Christ. That's how I became a Christian. All right. And at the same time, I want to tell not only you but the audience also, uh -huh. I do not belong to any religion. <laughs> okay, all right. Because Christianity is not a religion, uh -huh. and people make religion. Even yeah, people you make see, religion. That is true. In yes. the Bible, is there Catholic religion and Protestant religion? Mm -hmm. You cannot find. No, the Bible does not talk anything about uh, Protestant or uh, Catholic no. religion, yes, even right. Pentecostal religion. Yeah, nothing. But people make that. Yeah, denominations. Like the make. like the blind people, four blind people went to see an elephant. <laughs> Right. And one uh, touched the trunk and said it is like a post. Yeah. Another one touched the leg and said it's like a pillar. <laughs> and one touched the abdomen and said it's like a big pot. Uh -huh. So what about there? Because they have no sight. All right. See, this insight in any religion, people uh -huh. may be a Hindu or a Christian or a Muslim, whoever may be, yeah. they should go deep into their scripture. Mm -hmm. They should find what the Vedas state okay. about God. All right. Then there won't be any problem to understand the real only one God, mm -hmm. and that's how I became a Christian. All right. So I have to explain so what, all these what, things. So what difference do you find in Christianity and other faith with other faiths? See, in Christianity, the thing is, uh, Jesus Christ appeared in a personical form. Mm -hmm. We cannot see God. Even Bible says no one has no, seen, seen God. God yes, it is only Jesus who revealed God. He was sent person God and son person man. Mm -hmm. See, I am a man. God is spirit. Yes. I cannot see the spirit. Yeah. And the spirit can see me, mm -hmm. but I can't see, I can't spirit. see the spirit. So if at all, if I want to know God, unless God shows himself in a physical form, okay. I cannot see I can't. him. Yeah, no one. No one so can. this uh, Aru, Uru, Aru, Uru, this call, Aru means Arupa. God is Arupa. He has no form. Okay. God is formless. Formless, okay. And this formless God should become Uru. Okay. He's in a, in a person, form. Okay. in a form, All right. so that I can see him. But he cannot uh, be seen all the time. Uh -huh. So he's in spirit, Aru Uru. He's, okay. he's a form, form okay. but in spirit. God is a person. 
you call in Christianity, Holy Spirit is a person. Yes. It's not a spirit, no. it's a person. It's a person. So can you see Holy Spirit? No. No. But he's a person. Yeah, we can that is Aruguru. The presence. That, that is, is Aruguru. Okay. This is how the philosophy in India in the early centuries started. And later that they said uh, Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, all these things all on a sudden it emerged. So in Hinduism, only the people with their own philosophical mind invented so many philosophies. That's why you have so many gods and goddesses. So this is uh, all uh, designed by man? Man. Developed by yeah, man. Yeah, okay, yes. yeah, I must say that. But because in the Rig Veda, you find in the beginning Agni, Vayu, Varuna, Indra. Mm -hmm. These are the prominent uh, gods they were worshipping. I see. Where are they now? Why people do not worship Varuna today? Oh. They forgot all these four elements in the beginning. Uh -huh. Now they have newly formed all the new gods. Are these gods in the Vedas? Which god? The, the, you're talking about Ganesh and... Uh, and uh, uh, these Ram are Shiva. not found in the Rig Veda. The Vedas you cannot find. Oh, so how they uh, came this, in existence? This is what I say. The philosophical mind of people invented so many new philosophies and every attribute of God was formed as a god. That's why we have numerous gods. So, but people say, for, ex for example, there was a, in, uh, I was in India, there was fighting going on around the this temple and uh, mosque mm. about uh, Ram Janam Bhumi. Yeah. So, it means it existed, Ram. Actually, when, the, when the, actually this thing was progress in India, uh -huh. before demolition, I see. Uh, many times the Muslim group and the Hindu groups, they s used to sit together with some mediator and we're talking how to solve this problem. Uh -huh. And uh, once the Imam of Islam, yeah. he asked a question to the Hindu group, if you prove that there was a person like Rama lived, I see. we will demolish the masjid with our own hands uh -huh. and give the place to you. Okay. He wanted them to prove historically. Uh -huh. For that uh, Mr. Joshi, who was also a leader of the religion, he replied that they cannot prove, but it is their faith. Oh, so there's no evidence for... There's no existence. evidence. So they call it Ram Janam Bhumi. Uh, they call, they may call it, but they have to go deep into the Vedas in which they will not find it. See, so suppose I, I believe that this table is God, it is my faith. Can, <laughs> you, can you say no to that? <laughs> no. Unless you make me to understand, this is an ordinary wood, Word, yes. which is shaped and made like a life table. table. Yeah, okay. Then I, if I understand, if I, okay. I must so have a willingness to individual understand. Individual thing. <laughs> so individually, we cannot condemn other faith. Mm -hmm. But the, if they are interested to know God, know the truth. So being a religious person mm -hmm. is something else. I see. But if you really want to know God to save your soul, then you have to go for research and search for Okay. Right. See, every person has given knowledge and wisdom uh -huh. to understand God, okay. whether we have to make use of that. Mm -hmm. If I refuse, no, I cannot do that. I will only follow what my forefathers were doing. If they, if they say they're, they're, they will do only their forefathers were doing, why do they come to Canada? Why do they put on suit? Okay. Why do they, put on, uh, they, they uh, make themselves like a Canadian woman, right. a Canadian okay. man? Yes, okay. Huh? They cannot uh, do that. They cannot follow their ancestors. Mm -hmm. Their ancestors never traveled in aer aeroplane. They walked. <laughs> okay. And they walk nowadays. Yeah, okay. So, they, see, things are changing. So, the culture the is, is changing. I, I see that the Mahabharata and Ramayana, they, they all, we see their dramas and everything. Yeah, but, but, because on those and days, people worship them as only the pandits, the Brahmin priests, they know the Veda. They studied the Veda. I see. And the forbidden other people like Kshatriya, Vaisya, Sudra, or uh -huh. Panchama, they were not allowed to study Vedas. Okay. Only sometimes the Kshatriyas were also allowed because the Brahmins needed the help of the Kshatriyas. They are warriors. Uh -huh. okay. So they need them. So they allowed some of the Kshatriyas also to study Vedas. But they were never allowed to become priests. Uh -huh. Even if you